Aerodynamic efficiency has a dramatic effect on car performance. 10% improvement in aerodynamic efficiency is worth approximately a second a lap. That's why we chase so hard. Clearly a Form 1 car and a road car are very different animals, but they're both subject to the same laws of physics and the same air flowing over them. There is common ground between what we do here at Ripple Racing and what Infinity do. We both use wind tunnels, we both use computational fluid dynamics. The difference is what we're trying to achieve for the product. We are solely interested in increasing the downforce. That's what gives us lap time, whereas Infinity are more interested in reducing the drag of their cars in order to improve fuel consumption. Aerodynamics affects fuel economy, acceleration and secure fuel at high speed. The objective of fuel economy is very, very challenging, but the good feature point of this wind tunnel is we can measure the vehicle itself, so there is no doubt about the performance. Here at Rebel Racing, we spend 24 hours, seven days a week in the wind tunnel. We tried more than a thousand types of shapes. Infinity put as much effort into developing their cars as we do. I put all of my efforts for more than three years into this process. Finally, we achieved the target.